Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a few Jouer Cosmetics products that I have purchased. Um, I think I, I'm pretty sure I don't own any of their stuff. This might actually be my first purchase. I might have a sample or two or something from Sephora, but I don't actually own any of their products at the moment. So I just thought, um, I really want to kind of like start mixing it up with my channel and like the products I'm using, different brands that I don't really have and kind of just like building my beautiful collection. So as always guys, if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so a couple of things before we get started. Um, like I did say in the intro, this is going to be kind of like a mini haul try on. I didn't put any blush or bronzer because I did get a face palette from Jouer and I just want to kind of like test it out on camera and show you guys my first impression slash reaction to it. Alright, so let's hop into it. So I did get a couple of things and I will go in here. So it comes with like, I got this bag and then it says never ask a girl with winged liner Winged eyeliner, why she's late. Hashtag Joy girl. So I did, again, I paid for this stuff. So this is like just a little tote bag that I got. It was like a little deal that they had going on. Um, I did pay for all this and that was sent to me. Um, I also got some free sample. <laughs> Everyone does that now. So I think that's super cool. The only problem is like, I don't need that many shade ranges of foundation. So, but that's pretty cool for me to try out. And then the first thing, that I have in here is the Jouer Get Charmed Best of Lip Gift Set. I believe this was on sale and that's why I got it. So I'll pull that out. Some more samples. And then I got a Jouer Longwear Lip Cream. So the next thing is the Bouquet D'Amour Six Shade Blush Palette. I thought it was, let me see if I can dim this down a little. So I thought it was like a face palette, but I guess it's just a blush palette. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go grab some bronzer and highlighter because I did not grab that. So I'll be right back. All right. So I guess I will be doing, I'll go ahead and do my bronzer on camera as well. I'm going to go into the Park Avenue Princess and this is the bigger like huge palette. They have just the bronzer, the Park Avenue Princess bronzer, but this one came out and it came out a long time ago, but it came out with a bunch of um, bronzers, some shimmer bronzers, and then some setting powders. So I don't really care for a real big shimmer on my bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with Angel, and it's gonna be right here, Angel is this one. And today I'm gonna be using the Morphe E4 instead of my traditional, um, 530. Just wanted to try to switch it out. I might do for you guys like a favorites brush, favorites lipstick, favorites all that good stuff because I feel like I really don't do, I do like, I'll do um, here and there like a favorites video but not a favorites like specific. Do you know what I mean? All right, so now that I have gone ahead and I have bronzed up my face, just a smidge, we're going to dip into the blush palette. All right, so there's the palette. It's so pretty. The gold, the design it has dragonflies and flowers. I'm so, so pretty. Ooh. So it does come with the mirror and Again, gonna give you the no shot and not blind you. And these blushes are really, really gorgeous. Here is the whole palette of all six of them. I really am interested in this Treasure Me, but kind of also nervous that it's gonna be super freaking orange on me. So I don't think I'm gonna go with her today, but I definitely might like swatch her on my hand so you guys can kind of see. Um, but I think I'm gonna go in with marigold which is this pinky peachy one up here in the middle all right and i'm gonna go in with my mr right brush and just dab so there's a little bit of kickback in that palette it's kind of crazy but and i'm just gonna go ahead and dab that on and if you are not new to this channel then you know how much i love my blush and like that like statement color i'm really into kind of like the bolder blush look and I really hope that comes back in 2020. 
I did say in the beginning of this year that lipstick was, I mean, lip gloss was going to be a thing for 2019, and I was right. So, mark my words, statement blush is coming back. Just where it's just like a pop of freaking blush. Like, so much strong blush. Not this light, like, handed kind of blushing bride look. No, I want, like, blush, blush. Like, in your face blush. Ooh. Okay, so I really, 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 really like that a lot. So, I'm a fan. And it is blendable. It doesn't seem to be sticking to the texture that I have right there on my cheeks. And it was really, really pigmented. Alright, so I am going to take that same brush. And I want to try Treasure Me. Just because, like, I'm kind of intrigued. It's a shimmery orange. Like, it's super orange so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my hand and see what happens so I think I could definitely pull that off that is definitely gonna be something that's it, it maybe without a highlighter and without a bronzer or whatnot because it is a really shimmering kind of orange so I don't want it to pull that bronzer to make me look more orange and I also don't want it to pull the shimmer of the highlight and make it look like I went and just threw highlighter on me but I think that that's a really pretty color especially for like tan to darker skin that's gonna be a really really pretty color especially for the fall I really feel like it's gonna be good for the fall so in this palette you just have your traditional um, like a blue pink it's kind of muted and then the hot pink and then you have adore me which is a much lighter pink and then know me so these two this one is actually going to be a little bit too light for me. This is right up my alley. I'm really big into the hot pink blushes. And this one is just your normal blush. I don't mind. So out of all of these, I really feel like I would use all of them. And I really love blush palettes. Just because, one, you can take it with you wherever you go. So if you want to change your mind and want to have options, but you don't have like 16 different blushes in your bag, this is like something you want to get. Also, because I just love... So we all stick to like things that are our favorite, favorite blushes, favorite bronzers, but when you have a palette, it kind of tells you like, hey, there's other things here. Try other things. So this gets me into trying different stuff than just sticking to the same one blush if it was just a compact blush. So I'm going to go in the highlighter before we get to the rest of the Jouer stuff, and I'm going to be using, this is my Fenty highlighter. All right, so I'm going to go into Hustla Baby with a Morphe 510 and she has been used like used used so this is one of my ultimate favorite highlighters um, I have like I think this is the only one from Fenty that I have just because some of the highlighters I'm like oh it's too crazy for me and like I want to try it but look at that like this this is such a beautiful highlighter and that's why I got this one because this just this highlighter Oh my god, like I can't. If I ever run out of this and she discontinues it, I will die. Like seriously. It's so pretty. But I have used so much of it. I'm gonna have to like really go out and try to expand my collection. I don't feel like I have all Kylie or all Morphe or all one thing, but I don't feel like I have a variety. Like I have Tarte, Too Faced, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But I really want to have like just an array of makeup so I want to kind of mix it up so just make sure you leave me a comment down below of different brands that you think I should try and add to my collection. Alright so I went ahead and I took off my lipstick. I know it looks really crazy but I want to try these different lippies on that I got from Jouer as well. So I'm going to go into this set which by the way are minis. Um, again if you're not new I'm not a fan of mini items. So, um, that's probably why it wasn't as expensive. I was like, oh, that's a lot of money for two, four, six, seven lipsticks. But it is not seven. It is, well, it's seven. But they're like, not even as big as my finger. They're so tiny. And it's like, oh, where am I going to put these? But they're really, really pretty. So, I'm going to pop these out. And then we will try them on and do some swatches. 
So far, I'm not hating Jouer. Let me know if you guys have any of the Jouer Cosmetics products. What's your favorite? I want to try to get a little bit more from them, obviously, in other companies. But if you have a favorite from this brand, then definitely let me know so I can go ahead and check that out. All right, so I'm going to go in with this little itty-bitty. Look how small this is. This is so small. I think I paid like $32 for this whole thing. And this is Ethereal which I wonder if it tells me what finish it is. This is a long wear lip topper. So this is the color Ethereal and it is a long wear lip topper. I am not the biggest fan of lip toppers, but this actually isn't so bad. It's really shiny, really pretty. And I think it could also be wore as just a gloss. So I like that a lot. So this is Aurora and it is in a high pigmented lip gloss. Go ahead and swatch that. All right, so that one is Aurora. It, it is a very pigmented lip gloss. Um, it's not thick. I like how it feels. Again, these all, I don't know if I said it when I tried it on the first one, but they all have a very cupcakey smell, and it reminds me of the Lunar Beauty one. So it's a little bit sweet, but it's not terrible. Um, but this one is really pretty. It just reminds me of a metallic lip which I am not a big fan of, so I don't know that I would really wear this one. All right, so moving on, this is Enchanted, and this is going to be a long wear lip topper as well. So I really, 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 really like the color of this one. Their lip toppers are gonna kind of be more of like a lip gloss, because I definitely can see someone wearing this, or even me, wearing this by itself and not over anything. I really, really like it. It's a little bit sheer, so that may be why they're calling it a lip topper, but other than that, I love this color. I love the purple, and I love the little reflex of gold. So this one is definitely a win. Okay, and then we're going in with Charmed, and Charmed is a long wear lip cream. Okay, so this is Charmed. It is a very pale pink. Not really my color for my skin tone, but it isn't terrible. I like that it is a lip cream. However, it is quickly drying down. So it may be more matte than it is cream, but it's a little bit streaky too right here. So I don't know. I don't mind it. I don't mind how it feels. It's just very, very light in color. All right, so I'm going to go in with the next one, which is Fortune. And I also believe this is a long wear lip cream. It is, yes. And it has more of a metallic look to it from what I can see. So that one is Fortune. It is a little bit sheer. I don't know if you can see it really on camera because it's kind of like just the color of my lips coming through. It's definitely more on the metallic look side, but I really don't hate this. I usually do not go for the metallic formula, but it's not really as metallic as like ColourPop's or Kylie's. It's just a light shift, just a light shift. So I really like it. And again, this one is drying down fairly quick. So I'm wondering if their lip creams are like liquid lipsticks, like matte liquid lipsticks. So if you know, if you have any of these, let me know below. But it has, this one has dried down like really fast. So like there's, there's nothing there and I've only had it on for like two minutes. So, okay. So off camera, when I took that swatch off, it was like extremely hard and like I had to like tear my lips a little bit and I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding everywhere so that's cool um that one dried down like super freaking fast so I have two more and the next one is Lucky Street and this is a high pigmented lip gloss okay so that is Lucky Street and it's very pretty I do like the glosses um there's two of them so far in here uh, very pigmented lip gloss, like very pigmented. Um, and I like how it feels. It doesn't feel like a gloss. It almost feels like a cream. So I like that a lot. So the last one is Karma and it is a long wear lip cream. So it is just a bright orange red and I really, 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 really like this one. Super pretty. Okay, and the last product for my little mini Jouer haul is this, um long wear lip cream it's actually the full size and it is in daiquiri so it is this this pretty pinky shimmer color it does have some reflex of some shimmer and it has a little bit of a peachy undertone 
Okay, so this is Daiquiri. It is actually much brighter. It's actually much brighter off camera when I'm looking at it in the mirror. It's almost like a uh, neon pink. <laughs> so it is pretty bright. Um, I don't know that I would actually wear this. Um, I might in the summertime. But this is, their lip creams are kind of streaky. So I don't know that I am the biggest fan of the lip creams. If you guys have them, let me do, know down below if they are streaky for you. But if you look really close, I don't know if you if you can catch it off camera because just the way that it is, sometimes like it's a good thing because you can't catch those things. So if you're having a bad lip day or makeup day, but when you're trying to show like, hey, this product is not good, it's really hard. But like I have streaks here, 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 up here. So, and then when I go like this, it really breaks out right here. So I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of the lip creams. Um, I definitely don't know that I will be trying any more of those, but let me go ahead and put my lip back on and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so that is it for my mini Jouet haul. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the items that I got, if you think I should get more stuff from this company or pass. So just to recap on a few things, I loved the blush palette. Um, I'm a big fan of blush, so to have a huge palette, well, not huge, but six pans is pretty big, is really exciting. Um, the minis, I wasn't... I don't think that there was one that I was like, oh, I really love this. The lip creams are really, really dry. Like the last one, even the daiquiri one, it was hard to get off. Like I had to like really, really, really scrub my lips. So I think those are more on the matte side than they are on the cream side. Also, the color daiquiri did not come the color that I thought it was going to when pictured on the website. So that's something that I had a little bit of an issue with. Other than that, um, I really just, maybe it was the products that I got. So that's why I want you guys to give me all of the stuff that you've tried or you've heard good things about so I can try and build a beautiful collection because nobody wants to build their collection with a bunch of stuff that they don't like to wear or use. So that's my like quick um, first impressions of Jouer. It's okay brand. Um, they're kind of pricey. So I really want to get stuff that I like. Um, not a big fan of their lip stuff so I might have to try different stuff. I do like the high pigmented lip glosses but other than that the blush was my favorite item so I'm gonna have to look and see if they have more because their blushes are really nice and they felt really nice and they wear really nice. So other than that guys that is it for today and I will see you on the next one. Bye!